And typically, the way you calculate profitability, tomorrow's investments that pay off tomorrow go to the bottom line and are much more tangible than investments that pay off 10 years from now. Well, when I go back to my graduating classes, I graduated from the MBA program at Harvard in 1979. We have a reunion every five years. When we came back for our fifth reunion, man, everybody was happy. Most of our classmates had married people who were much better looking than my classmates. <laughs> They're doing well in their career. But as we hit the 10th and 15th and 20th and then the 25th anniversaries, oh my gosh, my friends were coming back uh, not happy with their lives. And very many of them had gotten divorced and their spouses had remarried and they were raising their ch my classmates' children on the other side of the country, alienated from them. And I guarantee that none of my classmates ever planned when they graduated from the, the business school to go out and get divorced and have children who hate, hate their guts and are being <laughs> raised by other children. And yet a very large portion of our, my classmates actually implemented a strategy that they never <laughs> planned to do. And it turns out that the reason why they do that is the very same mechanism. And that is the pursuit of achievement. So we all, everybody here, is driven to achieve. And when you have an extra ounce of energy or 30 minutes of time, instinctively and unconsciously, you'll allocate it to whatever activities in your life give you the most immediate evidence of achievement. And our careers provide that immediate evidence of achievement. We close a sale, we ship a product, we finish a presentation, we close, close a deal, we get promoted, we get paid. And our careers provide the most very tangible, immediate achievement. In contrast, investments in our families don't pay off for a very long time. In fact, on a day-to-day -day basis, our children misbehave over and over again. <laughs> And it really isn't until 20 years down the road that you can look at your children and be able to put your hands on your hips and say, we, we raise great children. But on a day-to-day -day basis, um, achievement doesn't f at hand when we invest in relationships with our family, with our children and our spouses. And as a consequence, people like you and I who plan to have a happy life because our families truly are the deepest source of happiness in our lives, find that, that although that's what we want, the way we, we invest our time and energy and talents causes us to implement a strategy that we wouldn't at all plan to pursue. And so I wanted to just offer that one as something to think about. Um, the reason why successful companies fail is they invest in things that provide the most immediate and tangible evidence of achievement. And the reason why they have such a short time horizon is that they are run by people like you and I. And we then apply that very same th uh, thinking process in our personal lives with sad results. Let me just